Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Slight. Today we're going to be putting the ST2 uh, motorcycle turn signal module. It's a self-canceling module for the turn signals. If you have a difficulty when you're sitting there going here, right, and you turn your signal, and if you can't just seem to be able to kind of push that button like Mario can't, this system will do it for you. Obviously I'm kidding. I'm, I'm having some fun with him on this because I've been giving him a hard time. So that is actually pretty straightforward. There's obviously the module. So you get the module, like a bunch of pins and stuff of that for plugging it in. You can also hardwire it, which I'm probably gonna end up doing. And then uh, you come with these little tiny uh, stoppers. That's for the actual turn signal itself. So it doesn't lock in. It is only just gonna be a request switch. Okay, so they do come with pretty good instructions for it. They want you to tackle the turn signal stuff first. You're also wanting to remove the main insulation and cutting the three wires. Your left handlebar switch, find an accessible spot, remove the main insulation, cut three wires, so left, right, and the flasher signal wire, and crimp your red billet connectors and then locate power supply. So it looks pretty straightforward. So I went through the instructions myself. I did find this actually quite humorous. So when you get the instructions, right, again, it tells you what wires go where and stuff like that. It does give you information on what wires go where and what you're going to be looking at. So like for the Honda, it says that the Honda ground is going to go to the black wire is actually green. The right turn signal goes to light blue from a yellow. It, it does give you all of the information that you have, but if you see, there's a YouTube video thing. So I thought it would be fun to click on that and the, vi the video is actually unavailable. So no help from ST2, <laughs> but uh, let's continue on. First things first, you're gonna wanna take these out now. So there's two screws that normally come in there and that goes up here. Uh, this is the actual signal. You have to take the tab thing out here, so the switch part of it, that comes off. And then you have to disassemble the whole switch assembly. You're gonna wanna take the screw off here, 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 and there's one in here. And you do have to take the switch out as well. I understand this is a little confusing, but uh, uh, the reason why you have to take all that out is because you can't access where you have to put the foam in because it's underneath we put the foam just in the two spots here that's a normally a cavity and that white switch when you turn left and right is what moves and then that's what contacts the wires those are the three wires you're going to be working with but you're going to go further down right so now that we have this put together then we can continue on so i'm going to reassemble this there's like a little pin in the bottom here that goes in like that The next step you're going to want to do is take the actual headlight out. The reason why you're going to be doing that is your connector for your signals goes into the harness that's actually inside the headlight housing. Now, you can just take the cover off, right? So just the just the cover, and that is just two fasteners, and then it'll just kind of come up. I took it completely out of the way. That way I have a little bit more room. So this connector, it's like a, like a white connector, the yellow the white so this is from the switch side and that goes to the actual lamps and stuff i've taken the connector out right here so connector out through here up around 
and now I have it on the bench. Okay, so that way I can do all this stuff on here. Again, you can do it on the bike. I'm just doing this. That way you can see it a little bit easier. It's a little cleaner to see. Um, and then we go from there. We're gonna go light blue, which is gonna go to the yellow. So we're going to the motorcycle. So that's that side. to green. Okay, so that's all that stuff that goes to the motorcycle. Now I do the stuff for the switch, which would be these ones. So wire to turn signal. So the white is gonna go to the light blue, gray goes to brown, and the, uh, the purple goes to the orange. When you're going back, because you still need power and ground, there's a tied up connector that actually is a power and ground. So the ground is green and the power is uh, purple. So now that we have the switch, so we have the rubber stoppers in the bottom. I use the large ones. It just makes it so then it, it it doesn't go all the way there so you have to push and so it's just a request switch at this point and then put it all back together everything's good again it's it's fairly straightforward um, to actually remove all this type of stuff right so again i'll just go over it quickly uh the two screws here there's two screws for the switch like the actual mechanical part there uh, there's one here and one down there uh, so basically six screws and then all that stuff comes out there's a collar on this side you can see that pretty good there um, and that's what kind of puts that in its place you just flip it upside down and there's li little channels you're just going to fit those it's a little tight but you fit them in and then you're good to go so we're going to put this back together we are going to finish the power and ground we're going to put them to there we're going to put the headlights back together and then i'm going to uh, fit this actually underneath the tank that way you don't see it okay so then this would come back on to that little pin 
okay these would go back into here that's just your switch and then just make sure that you push the boots back over top and then back there so all of that is now tight okay so then the red is the purple and the ground is the green so I'm just gonna button this back up, uh, clean it up, and then I'm gonna put this underneath the tank and then uh, we should be good. So that's pretty much it. Put the headlight back together. Every, everything else is actually done. Seat, covers, everything. So basically what I want to do now is I'm we're gonna road test it, see whether or not it actually works. It's What's supposed to happen is you hit the signal and it should auto cancel. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my gear with me, so I can't actually uh, record this, but I will come back and I'll explain this. Uh, we'll uh, close this up. Okay, well, it does work, so that's actually kind of neat. Um, so basically what it does is uh, you put your signal light on and you turn, it, it almost like holds it for like a couple seconds and then it lets it go. I don't think it actually is lean sensitive or anything like that, you just, as you're going, it you straighten up and it's off pretty interesting i'm sure he'll be happy with this anyways if uh, this was helpful or if you're interested in it the stuff's going to be linked in the description and uh, if you're interested or if you like this channel uh, give me a thumbs up like and subscribe and until next time guys